Let's take a ride. Put your pens down, we are going to listen. Listen, observe and write in your own words. That's our entire panda and motto of the teaching. So I have an RBC. I am going to have lipid peroxidation of this RBC. I am just saying that at some point of time during my life, if my RBC or my free radical quantity will be more. At some point, free radical quantity will be less. It, it varies. Obviously, it varies. So when my free radical quantity is more, the lipid peroxidation will be very severe and it will destroy my RBC, correct? When my free radical quantity is less, here also it will destroy, but not completely less, partially destroy. Clear? So when my free radical quantity is more, it will cause direct hemolysis. Inside the vessel or outside the vessel? Perfect. So it is intravascular hemolysis. When my free radical quantity is not so high, it will cause damage still. It will cause membrane damage still. When membrane of an RBC is damaged, like what we saw in the previous disease, my membrane is damaged. So my RBC from my biconcave shape will become a spherical. It will become a sphere. What will happen to the spherocyte? It will get cotton, spleen and get lice there. What type of hemolysis? Perfect. Extravascular hemolysis. First MCQ point. G6PD has both intravascular and extravascular hemolysis. We discussed about it, right? First thing is done. So my, R, my free radical also destroys proteins, right? So what is the predominant protein in my hemo, uh, RBC? Obviously hemoglobin. Globin component of hemoglobin is the predominant protein. So what happens here is the free radical is going to destroy a globin product. It's going to destroy a protein product. When a protein is destroyed, what will happen to a protein? First chapter again, it will become precipitated. That's all. So this in my RBC, my globin component is going to get precipitated. When they get precipitated, where do they fall? To the membrane. It will be darker or lighter? Perfect, it will be darker. I am going to have a dark protein precipitate close to my membrane of the RBC. Right? A tiny dot. But this protein precipitate will not be able, uh, will not be seen in a Leishman stain. I need a stain which we use in reticulocyte. What is that stain? New methylene blue stain. So I'll see a blue dot close to my RBC membrane in a new methylene blue stain. We are going to name it as Heen's bodies. And we are going to name it as Heen's bodies. We know the third finding as well. Just only one more finding left and we are going to discuss about it. So I said that this Heen's body will not be picked up on protein Leishman stain, right? You're just going to imagine, just imagine, close your eyes and imagine, I'm having a perfectly beautiful RBC where I'm having a tiny Heen's body in the corner close to my membrane and this is not being stained on a Leishman stain which means my entire RBC will be stained except this part. Except this part my entire RBC is going to be stained. So how does it look is it looks like a chunk of a RBC not stained. It's going to look like this. If your imagination was perfect it's going to look like this. Right? Here is where I had the Heen's body which is not getting stained. How does it look? Perfect. A bite cell. This is how a bite cell looks. What's the reason for bite cell? The RBC coagulum is not getting stained. That's all. When you take Robbins, it will be written that bite cell is formed by plucking of the Heen's body by RBC mac by macrophages, splenic macrophages. It is wrong. You will confidently say Robbins is wrong because you know the basics. Simple logic. Let's assume whatever Robin says is correct. Let's assume that. My RBC goes like this. What Robin says is my splenic macrophage comes in, bites it off and removes it. Tell me one thing. If it bites it off and removes it, will the membrane be damaged? Yes. If the membrane is damaged, is this cell alive or dead? Dead. How will a dead cell circulate? So it is wrong. It was thought so. Medicine has changed long back. From 2000 it has changed. And 2020 has changed long back, right? So what it said is the actual reason of the bite cell is the RBC coagulum, which is your Heen's body, is not being stained on a routine Leishman stain. With our basics, we were able to correct the best book in pathology. That's what basics does to you. And we discussed about everything. So we know everything about G6PD deficiency just by knowing that it's going to destroy free radicals. That's all, nothing else. So now we are going to extrapolate whatever we know. Ready? Go for the right. I want you to write in your own words, right?